Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for Monday the 26th of July 2021 from St Luke's Church, Eccles Hill. You know, prayer every morning can become a real burden, or on the other hand it can be a great joy, and it's really largely up to us what we want to make of it. And I hope that you, like me, will want to make something special of it this morning as we come back to the Lord our God. <coughs> I still have my cough, uh, but nevertheless, we're not going to let that stop us. Uh, for this service, you will need to have a Bible of your own so that you can read the Bible readings at your own leisure. And if I'm on a video at the far side of the room, you'll need some way of pausing me so that you can give yourself the gaps in the service to do those readings. But what we most need is God's Holy Spirit. Let's ask for him into our hearts and onto our lips. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. For today's service, Stephen Craven has chosen from the Sing Praise Hymn book, Bridget Palethorpe's hymn, From the Beginning, God's Most Holy Word. Uh, when I tried it to the tune that it was set for, Godmanchester, which probably was written for it actually, because it dates back to a Songs of Praise service, I think, from looking it up on the internet. Uh, I thought that the tune was far too long for this hymn, which is a six-verse hymn, and suddenly, somehow it needed something a lot quicker uh, so that the hymn uh, would have more direction and purpose about it. So I hope you'll excuse me for having written uh, a tune uh, which will enable it to go faster. From the beginning, God's most holy word uttered the summons all creation heard. Christ, the word spoken, wisdom, power, and light transforms the darkness of the deepest night. Summons to wholeness all God's love enfolds, cherishes, nurtures, gently shapes, remolds, strikes us that fail the institutions blight. Faith disappointment in transforming light. Jesus, the word once spoken by the well, challenges, heals us in response. We tell all our deep longings, all our hidden fears. Find them the solace of God's love and tears. Lord, we are here, your blessed will to seek. May each one listen to the word you speak. Lord, be our succor as we work and pray. Give us fresh purpose this and every day. Jesus, the word once spoken by the tomb, speak to our hearts in chant of drought and gloom. Jesus, the word, our life, our hope, our breath, draw us rejoicing from the sleep of death. Jesus, you call each one of us to serve. Amazing grace we never could deserve. Here we renew our dedications vow. Word of the Father, speak your summons now. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms set for today are Psalms 27 and 30 this morning, uh, with a suggestion that we should sing Psalm 30 if we can only do one of them. Uh, well, all right, here's a metrical version of Psalm 30. God the Lord, I bring my worship to a familiar Russian folk song. i 
way that is my life when I sin your wrath amazes and you send me times of strife when I'm proud or self-sufficient then your anger takes its toll when I turn your beneficent God the Lord you make me And you might care to pause the video and reflect on both those two psalms, looking them up in your own Bible. For our Old Testament reading today we have Ezekiel chapter 28 verses 1 to 19, a prophecy against the king of Tyre. It's part of the section in the book uh, which has a prophecy uh, against many different nations. And this is the only one that we focus on because uh, tomorrow we move on to Ezekiel chapter 33. So please pause the video and read that section and you might like to read some other bits as well. I suppose this section of the book of Ezekiel shows that there was a lot wrong with a lot of the other nations besides there being a lot wrong with the nation of Israel. The part that caught my eye uh, was verse 6. Because you think you are as wise as a god, I'm going to bring foreigners against you. I wonder if you think that you're as wise as a god. I wonder if I sometimes think that I can second guess God and I am wiser than him. Uh, let's repent of such attitudes. If you want, you can use the canticle to respond to the Old Testament reading. And if you want to do that, please pause the video and do it now. The New Testament reading is James chapter 2, verses 1 to 13. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Well, again, in this chapter of the book, there's not an awful lot of explicit reference to Jesus, but there's an awful lot of implicit reference to his teachings. And I suppose I was particularly drawn uh, to verse 8. If you really keep the royal law of scripture, love your neighbour as yourself, you're doing right. Uh, which, of course, goes back uh, to Jesus' summary of the law. Uh, here's a hymn which is partly expressed uh, inspired by this verse to express something of our desire that we should be transformed inside so that we really can keep that royal law. Incline our hearts to keep your ways your royal law of love Help us to want to make our days on earth like heaven above. The laws which from the mountain peak were given on plates of stone, of love to God and neighbour, speak so they become our own. As we believe, so clothe our minds with Christ the crucified, who longs to serve and leaves behind all selfishness and pride. Give us your sight that we perceive our neighbours' wants and needs. Give us the courage to believe you hear the one who pleads. Help us to work to make this world a better, fairer place Where justice rules and cries are heard and made 
met by generous grace. So may we lose our lives, dear Lord, in serving you and yours. So on our travels, wide and broad, we reach your golden shore. And so let's turn to prayer, asking God to speak to us and putting before him the things on our own hearts. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that you did speak to our world through Jesus when you came in person and occupied our own humanity and showed us what you were like and came to redeem us. Help us to see what things are written in your word and to follow your living word, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lord God, we would bring daily to you our worship each morning, and we would pray that you would keep alive in us the eagerness to be close to you, that we may discover what's on your heart. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray that you would help us not to magnify ourselves, and make ourselves godlike in our own appearance. Help us to be humble before you, and to realise that we don't yet know everything, and so to learn more of you. And grant that we might put into practice those things which we have learned, that your royal law of love may be found complete in us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and put before God your own particular desires today. The Collect, the special prayer uh, for this week, the 8th after Trinity. Almighty Lord and everlasting God, we beseech you to direct us, both our hearts and bodies, in the ways of your laws and the works of your commandments so that we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And please join us as we pray the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. James reassures us that mercy triumphs over judgment. Let us live in God's mercy today. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.